welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. We have more information now after that great testimony by the great friend, former best friend, and assistant of Mega the Stallion. We find out now, according to Kelsey Harris, who's the former BFF of uh, Miss Stallion, she testified, first of all, we find out she got immunity. Secondly, we find out that she was going to be triggered by being there. See, what I'm not understanding is that when these people are rapping and talking, they're acting like the baddest asses you ever want to see. But when it's time to go to court, when it's time to go to jail with one of them, either you got the rappers, the men snitching, or you got the women who said they were bad bees, that's bitches, in case you didn't get it. Uh, all of a sudden, it, it changes. Now, personally, from her testimony, because she stated that she did not recall Tory Lane ever threatening Megan Thee Stallion. She also says that she never saw him with the gun. Now we find out she had residue on her hand, and he had residue on his hand. Now, what you want to find interesting about her testimony is the time she pleaded the fifth because she told the judge she didn't want to incriminate herself. Now, the only way she can not want to incriminate herself, to me personally, means that she must have did the shooting. She was asked if she did the shooting. She said, that's ridiculous. She didn't do the shooting. Well, why take the fifth then? It doesn't make any sense because when you ask Somebody asked you point blank, did Tory do the shooting? You say you didn't see it. First, you said you saw it. When you initially told prosecutors you saw him do the shooting, you even texted that Tory Lane had shot Megan. But to me, this could have been a cover-up, you covering yourself from the first time she said it. Because now on the oath, she's saying she don't want to incriminate herself. But she goes on to say she gives more detail from the particular party. Now, I get from this is that Megan the Stallion was really, really mad now with what Tory Lanez was doing and flirting with Kylie Jenner. Because now we find out that uh, Miss Kelsey Harris went to the party, but she went, she was so drunk she went to sleep. She says, because Tory Lane wasn't there when she first got there. After she woke up, Tory Lanez was there, and she says Megan the Stallion was acting weird. So she just kept laughing. I guess it was one of those comical Harris laughs. <laughs> you know, Kamika just busts out laughing for no reason. Every time she's nervous or something, she starts laughing. So evidently, uh, Megan the Stallion was doing an impersonation of the VP and border czar Kamala Harris by laughing hysterically about nothing. Now, sometimes this phony laughter can be nervousness or it could be she's agitated, but she says that for some reason, Megan was really agitated. She says she didn't know that Megan and Tony, I guess, were sleeping together. I keep calling him Tony, Tory. I don't know why I keep calling him Tony. Tory. Tory. Uh, was sleeping together. She didn't find that out until they got in the car. Nation, I'm the doctor of common sense. I have a proposal for you. It's twofold. First of all, have you ever been in a situation where you were renting or you were the landlord and you were renting and you had tenants and you just wish you had access to a lawyer? Well, I have a proposal for you because there you can get access to a lawyer for about a dollar a day. And if you want to cover your whole family, you can do it for a little bit over two dollars a day as having access to a, a lawyer 24 7 including on holidays Tra traffic violations you have a contract you need a lawyer to look over this particular service will provide that for you not only does this particular service offer these is identity theft too if somebody steals your identity social security or whatever they offer this particular plan and not only that it is also a business opportunity meaning that you could actually sell these particular plans yourself. If you're interested, you can click the link below. And if you click the link below, there's going to ask you for a little information. 
It'll take you over to a video and you can watch it for yourself. If you are interested in this particular plan, you can have access to those particular plan. God bless you and let me know what you think. I hope you will join and become a either a member or become a team partner with me. God bless you. But this is what happened. She says Megan was acting really weird. And I believe Kylie asked him to leave. Now, the first time that they left, I didn't know this information, but the first time they left, Tori was not with them. When they left the first time, Megan said she left her slipper there. Now, I don't know how you can leave your slipper there. What kind of slipper? You walked out of there half barefooted or something? But the reason she really wanted to go back is because Tori was still there with Kylie Jenner. And even though she's the one who introduced her friend, Kelsey uh, Harris, an assistant, she's the one who introduced her to Tor uh, uh, Tory Lane. Tory, I mean, uh, Kelsey Harris didn't realize that the reason Megan wanted to go back is really for Tory, not for the damn slipper. So they get back. She gets the slipper this time because Kelsey stayed in the vehicle. Megan goes in and she comes back with Tori. That's who she really wanted. So now you can imagine that it's heated in there because Tori is technically saying that Megan is C-blocking. So he gets in the car. I don't know why he left. I guess Kylie must, may have told him, you need to go ahead and leave because your girlfriend is not going to stop acting a fool. We don't know because Kelsey was not in the house and we're not. they're not going to make Kylie Jenner testify. Anybody else was at the damn party. That could that could clear up a whole bunch of things you asked me. But what happens is that when they get back to the car, an argument ensues. I believe at first it was kind of instigated between Tori and Megan. So Tori decides just to spill the tea. He tells uh, Kelsey uh, Harris that uh, Megan's not your friend. She's been hooking up with me because. Kelsey had went back to Houston, because I didn't know she was from Houston too, and because she got COVID when she was down there. But when she left, Megan moved in. And so also, Tori in the, in the vehicle, I guess he's spilling more tea like a girl telling, telling uh, Kelsey that not only did Megan sleep with me behind your back after she got me and you to hook up, she slept with the baby. She slept with Ben Simmons, the basketball player. So she's just been going behind your back, sleeping with everybody. Now, I heard Megan got a boyfriend. Now, I don't know what that's about. F fella, she's a 304. No offense, but both of them acting like 304s if you're asking me. But see, this is a prime example where women are going out here. I guess they said they can do everything men does. It seems like there's some things women get away with a little bit more. There's some things men get away with. Not justified anyone, but this is a fact. Women who sleep around this much, you're going to look like a 304. If you're not familiar with a 304, that stands for how. Um, so behind the back, behind the scenes, uh, Tori tells uh, Kelsey the whole nine yards spills all the tea. So then Kelsey and Megan gets into an argument. See, this is the part that the prosecutors keep leaving out. That they were arguing. Witnesses say that two women was fighting and arguing. This is where Kelsey, to me, tries to play it down. First, she said they all was drunk. They all was heated. They can't hardly remember stuff. But then she said she was asked, I think, by the defense attorney, Tory Lane, were you and Megan fighting? She said, we may have bumped each other. If y'all this drunk, and it's that heated, and y'all acting a fool like this, I can guarantee it was a heated fight. Now, I don't know how the gun got involved, and, and she said that Tori never says Dan's bitch. That never happened, according to Kelsey uh, Harris. To me, uh, Megan Thee Stallion and Kelsey seem like they like to tell a lot of lies, and personally, all of this is over Tory Lane. Can you just imagine this? <laughs> These two are acting, all of this mess really happened on Tory Lane, who technically was trying to go over here and hit on Kylie Jenner, disrespecting both of y'all, and y'all having a fight over him. This is what this is all about. 
You put alcohol and jealousy and mess, or you mix it all in a pot like gumbo, and you'll come out with somebody being shot. Now, everybody wants to play the victim now. Now, a lot of this is brought on by Megan the Stallion herself. Now, I don't know who shot her, but if I'm guessing now, I'm guessing it more is looking more like Kelsey Harris is the one did the shooting, even though she denied that. But she pleaded the fifth on a couple of, uh, of questions. And she was also asked that uh, Tory Lane offer her some money. Now she said he did offer some money, but it wasn't about uh, he, it, being quiet about him shooting. It just, I guess, testifying. That ain't making much sense either. His testimony, uh, to me, uh, I don't know who to believe at this point, but if I'm just looking at an unbiased point and looking at evidence, I don't think Tory Lanez a shot Megan the Stallion. I do believe it's more of a possibility that Kelsey Harris, who got immunity, so even if she shot her, she's not going to go to jail for shooting, but she can go to jail for perjury for my understanding of this particular case. See, what, what's the lesson we're learning from this? Women, men, what's the lesson we're learning from this? First of all, you friends shouldn't be sleeping with the same fella. You men shouldn't be sleeping with the same women. That's number one. Number two is, when you mix alcohol and jealousy and hot-headed stupidity together, this is what you get. See, how's that working out for y'all now? All you had to do is that, first of all, I guess stop being a 304. Second of all, just don't sleep with your friend's boyfriend or his a sleeping partner. And if you the man is, don't be sleeping with friends. And then after you sleep with friends, you go to a party and you're right in their face trying to uh, flirt with somebody who invited you to the party. That's not going to work out. So Tory Lanez is getting his part. His punishment, he's getting his punishment for being a whoremonger, for being the one who thinks you can sleep with the friends and then just disrespect them and try to go sleep with this other one. Do you, but this is the consequence of that. Megan the Stallion has a bullet that was, was lodged in her foot, and she's having her name dragged through the mud. She's not going to be the same after this. Technically, her rap career probably is going to be over with. Maybe that's why Rock Nation is trying to protect her, because their money is invested in her. Maybe give us some hot chips. Hershey like hot Cheetos. Give us some hot Cheetos or something. But also you have this Kelsey Harris woman who was a th acting like a 304. Now she's playing victim too. So you all are seeing and being punished because they're all being punished in some kind of way. Don't think it's been easy for this Tory Lane fella. He's having your name dragged through the mud. You're spending money now. Still have a possibility you're going to go to jail. Then you have... Uh, uh, Megan the Stallion, who's having her name dragged through the mud, looking like a liar and a 304. You got this Kelsey Harris woman who looks like a 304. Now she's playing victim and having her name dragged. I'm sure she didn't lost money. So the, all this mess came over from be, from the from everybody being the women being 304s and the men being a whoremonger. What do you call him? I don't know what you can actually call. I guess he's a 304 male version of a 304. I don't know. But here's a prime example of the justice system. Look at the justice system. It also proves that the prosecutors were willing to ignore evidence in order to get a conviction. Because I don't think they look at all the evidence. They had their, their eyes fixed on Tory Lanez going down. And I may, they may have got some influence from Rock Nation. Because they're, 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 if, if, if uh, Tory Lanez was signed with Rock Nation, because uh, I, I believe that's where they met at the party at, right? Maybe this story would have been a little bit different. But it, it shows how prosecution will ignore evidence. They've done this plenty of times before. In order to get a conviction, they'll just ignore evidence. Because if you had really looked as if they gave immunity to, to Ms. Harris without really looking at what the fight. Why y'all don't ask, why the prosecutor never was interested on why in the hell y'all was fighting? If y'all outside the car fighting, why, is, why would Tory Lane just pull out a gun? And said, dance, bitch, when these two are fighting. That doesn't make any sense to me. That's the part of the story that's getting me a little confused now. So, personally, what I'm thinking is that this whole thing has been nothing but a hot piece of mess. And this is what happened when you uh, get liquor and whores together. 
<laughs> and you put a gun in the mix, and you got a bunch of egos going on. So you got ego, you got liquor, and you got uh, whoredom going on. See, this is a prime example. Then y'all go over to the Kardashian household. That's a recipe. I mean, that's the final ingredient to full-blown mess. Throw the Kardashians in on anything. Liquor, 304s, whoredom, uh, ego going on, and then put the Kardashians in there. Somebody finna get